Hey, hey, I'm Siobhan, and I love talking about all the things related to freedom and personal growth. And I'm on a journey to redefine freedom on my own terms as I become the woman I desire to be. Each week, I'll share in real time what I'm learning as I do my inner work while creating a safe space for my listeners to feel seen. If you desire to be free and live a life that feels good to you, then you're in the right place for beautiful conversations that's going to support you on your journey to freedom. Welcome to the Siobhan J. Middleton podcast. Now let's start the show. All right. So this podcast episode is going to be a little bit different because I'm sitting in my car waiting for my daughter to get out of school. And I want to express something in real time because it helps me and I love to put a timestamp to things. And I also know what I'm about to share will be very helpful for someone else. And I've been sharing on Instagram how I've been getting DMs and emails from people thanking me for the podcast, thanking me for my newsletter, and also saying how inspired and encouraged they are by the resources that I share, by just being transparent and vulnerable and how helpful it is. And so I'm going to continue to take you through this process with all the ups and downs and everything in between and just be here to hold space, to create space and to let you know that you're not alone, you know? And I believe that we need this. We need this as a community, as a collective, and there is power in sharing your story. Um, It can be both healing for you, but also it can be supportive for someone else. So, With that being said, I want to share something with you. Um, As many of you know, if you've been listening to this podcast for quite a bit, I'm going through a major transformation in my life, both internally and externally. I've been separated from my ex for about 10 months now, and I filed for divorce a week ago. I thought when I moved out into my own home that, oh, I'm going to file for divorce and then we'll move forward. However, this process has been unlike anything I could have ever imagined. This has been one of the most difficult times of my life. And I continue to show up for myself and choose myself. I now understand why for some people it can take them years and years to get a divorce because it is not easy at all. It is not. And, you know, again, I created this fantasy, if you will, of how this process was going to go. And it's been completely opposite. And so I share that timeline with you based on when I moved out and when I actually filed for a reason. I believe back in September, I started doing the process online, paid $300 for this service, thinking, okay, I can do it online. This is gonna be great, I can do it. Even the most simple questions was challenging for me to answer because of where I was emotionally. And One time, after months and months of starting the process and then having several questions left, my friend got on the phone with me and she just was there for me for support. And I finally finished it after months. I think at that point it was two months that I had been doing this process and I was able to complete it. Now, you would think at that point that I would submit it and everything will be good to go. Nope. Because other things would continue to show up that I was not prepared for and it was painful and it was emotionally taxing, right? It wasn't until three, I think three weeks ago where, well, before that I had called the court of clerks at some point a couple of months ago and they told me that I could go to the Dissolution Resource Center and they would be able to answer any questions and support me and I can do all the paperwork for free. So I realized that I had wasted $300, but in actuality it wasn't a waste because 
I needed to spend that money to actually, I guess, buy myself time to take care of myself, if that makes sense. Like, I, even though it cost $300, the time that it has taken me, 10 months, was worth it because of the grief that I would experience throughout this process. The timing wasn't there, you know? So again, about three weeks ago, I go down to the court and I let them know, okay, I want to file for a dissolution. And they give me the paperwork. They were very nice. The men and women that were there, they were very, very helpful. And they say, you can start filling it out and then you'll have to bring it back because your ex will have to sign in certain spots, right? So they were very kind. I did everything I needed to do. I gave the paperwork to my ex. He completed his part, right? And the guy had told me, like, this was peak season for divorce for some odd reason and that I probably wouldn't hear back from anyone until this summer. So I submitted the paperwork when I went back down there for the second time, paid, did everything I needed to do, and I left there feeling proud of myself and I knew I had did the right thing. And so in my mind... I had until the summer to really have to deal with, you know, when they give you a court date and everything. Well, yesterday evening, less than a week later, I get the email with my court date. And y'all, that shit hit me. And I was like, oh, okay. And the reality of everything was in my face. And I sat with those feelings of many different emotions, right? Many of them. And it was my night to go skating. And I said, okay, Siobhan, what do you want to do? What are you feeling right now? And what I wanted was to be on the rink and just to feel free. Because that email represented the freedom that I had been longing for for a very long time. And the feeling that I wanted to experience was that on the rink. And that's where I feel the most free. And I'm going to do a whole nother episode just on skating. And I honored what I wanted. And I acknowledged the feelings that I was having. And the main feeling is it's bittersweet. I have been with one person, you know since I was 18 years old. And so this process is another breakup, right? Um, I talked about a friendship breakup, many, many episodes, so you can go back and listen to, if you need to hear that, but here's yet another breakup. And this is, how do I say this? Another ending as I get closer to the freedom that I deserve and that I want. However, there's grief because the person that I was, all these years that I'm so familiar with, it's almost like that version of myself is dying and I'm being rebirthed. And so that's the sweetness, like, Siobhan, you get to have your freedom to live how you want. And you've been through a lot of shit. And this is the journey for you. And there is grief in letting go of that version of myself and thanking her for how she showed up and took care of me. But there's this beautiful part, like, I get to start my life over. At 43 years old, I get to start and create and become exactly what I want. And from this place, it feels so damn good because I have so much wisdom, you know? And so when I got that email, I'm like, okay. This is the reality. 
All right. And then also, we're going to sit in our feelings. We're going to honor what we need in this moment. I have therapy coming up this week. And so I'm looking forward to talking to my therapist about everything. And then also creating some type of process as I get closer to the date. And then after everything has been dissolved, you know, just having a practice and some things in place to prepare me for that. I want to share this with you because any transition that you go through in life will be a challenge. It will be uncomfortable at times. And you still have to keep going because you deserve the life that you want to live. You deserve freedom. You deserve that shit. I know for me, I needed this process and I needed to do it in my own time. This is the perfect moment for everything to unfold the way that it is. And here I am 10 months later preparing to end something that has served its purpose in my life. The purpose has been fulfilled. And I know two specific things right now. And as I continue to do more reflection, I'll know more about the marriage and the purpose that it served. And as I, I'll share that in a later episode, but this is what I know, what I want to share right now, that it has served its purpose. And so whatever life transition that you're going through, just know you're going to be uncomfortable There are going to be times when you feel like giving up. But I want to remind you that your life is worth it. You are worth it. And that there is beauty on the other side. And sometimes it'll take a week, a month, 10 months, shit, maybe even 10 years. But you keep showing up for yourself. And I'm going to continue to share all of the beautiful things that I'm experiencing. And I needed to share this in real time because I wanted to remember the feeling that I'm having. And even though I'm the one who decided to leave my marriage, that doesn't mean that I don't experience grief. That doesn't mean that this is not hard for me, that it affects so many different areas of my life. And when I think about what I've wanted and desired most is freedom, And to be my most authentic self, I now have space to get to know me and to live out my life the way that I want. And I'm so proud of myself. I'm so proud of myself. I am so proud of myself for this very moment to get here. And I'm excited. I'm so excited about everything that's going to come. Oh, I'm so excited. So, again, I'm in my car. (laughs) I just needed to get this out and express it. I want to share this with you. If you've been inspired in any capacity, support my work by sharing it with a friend, sharing it on social media, support me by treating me to some coffee. That link is always in the bio. DM me, email me, let me know your thoughts, your feelings. Share all that with me. And I'm going to continue to show up for myself in this community. Um, I'm thinking through some things on how I can offer even more. And I'm just grateful. I'm just so, 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 so grateful. Sending you so much love and light and enjoy your day.